So as Randy said, you know, I've been asked to come in and give you guys a little taste of uh, some of the things that I provide for your, for your teachers. And so today we're going to do a quick little uh, training on probably my favorite um, iPad app for teachers uh, and for students. It's called Explain Everything. Um, and what it is, it's like, uh, it's an interactive whiteboard sort of app. You, you can set up multiple slides, you can bring in different resources and annotate on top of those and, um, and record what you're doing. Um, but it's a $3 app. So if your teachers already have an iPad that they can use, it, it replaces the need for like a document camera and the, the smart board and, and things like that. You can do similar things with it. Um, to, to get the app, you can put this uh, link, appstore.com slash explain everything um, in your URL browser. Um, their website address is just explaineverything.com. That's their, that's their website there. Um, they have just released version 2, and it is, I mean, I loved it before, but now it can do just some amazing things that, that I really, really like. Isn't this what the, the team... Yeah, the team grant, um, our special needs iPad grant, this is one of the apps that they've been using to submit student-produced story problems, and I'll kind of demo that near the end. Um, so explaineverything.com uh, or you can just search in the App Store for Explain Everything. Uh, so let's talk about a couple of things that it can do. Um, the buttons up here on the left, this is a new page so you can set up multiple slides uh, in advance or if you're just on the fly lecturing and bringing things in and writing notes you can record and uh, just make new slides as you go. This is the pen tool so when I grab that I can Right, pretty much anywhere. At least I thought I could. Oh, it's it's recording way over there. Um, this is the shape tool, so I can bring in different uh, circles or squares, stars, lines um, to annotate things with, like that. <laughs> the undo tool right over there. Uh, text tool, so I can bring in and type in different bits of text. This is a, kind of a multifunction tool where I can bring in. Um, photos or videos from my iPad, files from almost anywhere, browser windows, so um, if I want to bring in websites and annotate on top of those. A uh, new picture, a new video would launch the camera app, so it works kind of like a document camera so I could capture um, a student's work or, or something, uh, some sort of action that's going on. Um, the files I can bring in from pretty much any service, music from iTunes, photos from my camera roll, uh, connects with Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, Box.net. Um, so a lot of, and, you know, pretty much anywhere you have a, a file storage, you can bring that in. This tool allow you to delete um, different objects you've got on the screen. This is the laser pointer, because sometimes you can't see where I'm pointing on the screen, even though I'm pointing there. Right? Um, <laughs> the information tool, this, um, if I tap that, I can now do... Uh, lots of different things with, with different objects. Before, I couldn't duplicate an object. If I wanted, you know, five apples, and I'll go through this example later on, I had to bring each one in individually. Uh, but now I can lock items, duplicate them, um, set them as background, whatever I want to do. This tool is the undo tool. It's your best friend. Um, and this is new. This one is, um, it kind of makes your, your white space kind of like um, a Prezi presentation. So it turns your whole whiteboard, or green board in this case, into a gigantic area that I'd not, I'm not just stuck with the space that I've got. I can, I can zoom in and, uh, you know, work with different objects there so I can set stuff up on, on the outside and show them in later on. Um, really kind of a neat little um, new addition to the, to the service. Uh, this guy right here will eliminate the, all the, the extra toolbars and just show... Uh, what I'm working on, and then these are pen colors that I can switch between as I'm going. Um, on the bottom, that's my slide sorter, so if I want to jump to a specific slide, I, I rearrange them, put, change the order of those, I can. Um, the recording feature, you can see that it's been recording for three minutes, so whatever I'm doing, it captures everything I do on the screen, plus with the built-in microphone, it's recording my voice, so I'm going to archive this and put it on our website so that the people that weren't here today can can still take advantage of the uh, of the training. And then when I'm done with projects, these buttons over here will 
One of the best features of the Explain Everything app is that I can bring in live web pages, annotate right on top of them, and uh, discuss and show whatever I want to show. Uh, and the annotations stay with the page. So if I wanted to show uh, the Iron County website, uh, we can do that. If I double tap on the, um, the browser window, this page is now live and I can move it up and down, um, go to different links if I want to on the page, uh, and do whatever I want to do. If I grab my pen tool, I can annotate and you know draw whatever I want to do or talk about whatever I want to talk about. And then when the page is done, whoops, double tap on the page, and now those annotations stay right there. I can scroll around and do whatever I want to do. When I'm done, go back to my hand tool, put that page over there, and I'm good to go. Another great thing that Explain Everything can do is I can actually bring in any sort of document from almost anywhere that I've got it saved. Google Docs, Dropbox, Box.net, Evernote. Um, hopefully these will show on the screen, but if I, I can bring in any objects, existing photos and videos will allow me to bring in things that I've already recorded on my iPad. A uh, new video or a new picture will allow me to, uh, it'll launch the camera app and I can take a picture of a student. Um, work. I can record them doing uh, an activity, or I can bring in files from from Photos, Evernote, Dropbox, my Google Drive, pretty much anywhere. When I bring in those documents, they are they usually come in as a separate slide, but I can then uh, interact with those. And again, with my annotation tools, uh, we can highlight different parts. We can say, you know, this paragraph needs to be revised, whatever I want to do. And then again, when I go back to my, uh, my hand tool there, the annotations stay with, with the document and I can move on to somewhere else. We've been using this iPad app uh, with a, an iPad uh, grant that we've been doing with, with eight schools around our region with special needs students. And they've been using this app to, uh, to produce their own story problems. So let me give you an example of how that would be done. Um, I could bring in uh, an existing photo or video that I've already got saved on, on my iPad. I happen to have uh, some objects already saved that I've gotten off the, uh, off the Internet, off Google Image Search. Um, so let's bring in an Apple. I can... With that apple in there, I can uh, rotate or remove it just by pinching and, and uh, rotating my fingers on the screen. If, if I want to have five apples, I don't need to go through that process every time now. I can just hit uh, the info button over here on the left, duplicate that object, and repeat as often as necessary. Duplicate. All right, so now I've got my five apples. Here we go, and now let's do the story problem. I have five apples, and three go bad. One, two, three. What fraction of my apples remain? Two-thirds. And that's it. The students have uh, created a story problem. It not only tests or helps with their math skills, but with their writing skills, their, their uh, dexterity, all kinds of different uh, benefits uh, from doing project-based learning this way. And I'll just wrap up with showing you um, some examples uh, that the students that are involved with this grant and the schools have actually uh, developed. So we've got some uh, pictures there from uh, Valley Elementary, a couple of videos from Delta Elementary. Uh, this one with the dogs is particularly cute, so I will, I will show you this YouTube video off a web page right from within the app. There are five dogs in the yard. If two dogs go away, how many dogs are left in the yard? One, two. There are three dogs left in the yard. Five, five Take away two equals three. 
Is that awesome? It's great. Okay. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed our tour, uh, our demonstration with the Explain Everything app. Uh, again, if you want to find this and uh, download the app, just again, if you wanted to get this app for uh, for you or to point your teachers to to it um, in the browser, you can type in AppStore.com/explain-everything. Um, you can search the App Store on the iPad for Explain Everything um, or you can go to the Explain Everything website at explaineverything.com um, While you're on the site, let me just point this out um, they have great resources here if you go to the guides link um, it points you to a um, iBook manual uh, which means that there is a free um, iBook that you can get from the uh, iBook store that uh, has all the instructions and everything you need to know on how to use the app and use it well. Um, I would highly recommend getting that. Again, it's free and it just you get to it from your iBook store. Um, so again, explaineverything.com, one of my favorite uh, iPad apps for teachers, for students, for project-based learning. Highly recommend it. Thank you for your time.